Good day, everybody. This is Chris back again with the Ancient Scholar, and this vignette is going to be talking about true versus false versus floating ribs. So true ribs are ribs that pretty much have their own cartilage as they connect to the sternum. And of course, I have the sternum here, I've got the manubrium here, and then I've got a little bone here called the xiphoid process, or a little extension of the sternum called the xiphoid process. And I just think the manubrium has that little notch there. Okay. Um, <clears throat> So you see that uh, ribs that have a direct cartilaginous extension um, to, or pretty much direct to the sternum or what we call the true ribs. So your first seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven are considered your true ribs, okay? Because they have their one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, right? Those are your true ribs. And then your false ribs are the three ribs down here, seven, eight, nine, and 10. And you can see that they don't have their own extension, that they're an extension of the seventh uh, piece of cartilage here. All right, so one through seven are your true ribs, eight, nine, and 10 are your false ribs. And then uh, 11 and 12 are floating ribs. And that is to say that they are not connected to the rib cage. Okay, they are free floating and they are just connected <clears throat> to the um, spine, the thoracic spine. And so they are free floating and that's 11 and 12. Alrighty, uh, hopefully you found that helpful. And as always, thanks for hanging in there.